हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड वी आर बैक विथ वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लिमिट्स सो वी हैव लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो कॉस एक्स पावर क्वाटिक्स सो लेट्स प्रोसीड वट वी डू फर्स्ट वी फाइंड द फॉर्म सो इफ यू पुट एक्स एज जीरो कॉस जीरो इज वन एंड कॉट एक्स सो वेन यूर पुट जीरो हेयर कॉट कॉट इज कॉस बाई साइन so cos zero is one and sine zero is uh, zero so one by zero that will give you infinity so obviously a one by infinity form a one power infinity form exists here so what we do in that case we write the given limit as uh, let me uh, introduce you to the concept so whenever we have this form uh, let's uh, let me give you the concept so if we have limit x tending to a fx raised to power zx and you know that limit x tending to a fx is giving you 1 and limit x tending to a gx is giving you infinity so in that case we write this limit as e power limit x tending to a gx comes down and we subtract 1 from fx fine enough now because think one step ahead in this uh, question because we are going to subtract 1 from the base base here is cos x so why not have a one in the beginning only so to have one in the beginning what we'll do is add one and subtract one so limit x tending to 0 this cos x i am writing as 1 plus cos x minus 1 power cot x now we don't have a formula for cos x minus 1 but we do have a formula for 1 minus cos 2x and that is 2 sin square x so let's create scenario like that also so limit x tending to 0 1 take a minus common and you get 1 minus cos x and this raised to power cot x now the stage is set so we can write this as e power limit x tending to 0 cot x comes down you subtract 1 from this so this 1 will vanish you are left with uh this thing minus of 1 minus cos x So one minus cos x will be two squ sine square x by two. Limit x tending to zero. Cot x is cos x by sine x. This will throw a minus sign. So let's write this here. And one minus cos x is two sine square x by two. the sin x in the denominator because i know that uh, sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x so e power limit x tending to 0 let this cos x remain as it is in denominator this sin x can be written as 2 sin x by 2 and wait uh, yes it's fine 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 this can be written as sin x by 2 into sin x by 2 now what will happen is 1 sin x by 2 will get cancel this 2 will get cancel sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 is tan x by 2 so e power limit x tending to 0 minus tan x by 
and we have a cos x. So when x uh, approaches to zero, this tan x y two will uh, become zero because tan zero is zero, cos zero is one. So zero into one will give you zero into minus one. So zero only. So e power zero, which is giving you one as your final answer. So I hope you understood this problem. There was no short of uh, difficulty, but yes, think one step ahead because because we are going to subtract one. So write plus one minus one initially, so that uh, we are going to get from because in this type of problem, this thinking will help you in cracking more difficult problems as well. So that's it from my side. For more such problem, you can always visit my playlist on limits. Thanks and have a very nice day.